when I entered the Mindcraft exhibition, it was the storytelling. You feel there are stories behind these pieces. Um, on one side, they look very professional made, so you feel there is a, a story of the craftsman and, and a combination of the designer and the craftsman, so professional, but you feel there is a story behind, and I think that's the power of it as well. What was particularly striking was this combination of um, um, old and new. So there is, a, there is, a, there is an old materials, but taken into a new direction. And what I found particularly interesting is how um, new Danish designers are actually moving, and we moving away from uh, the strictly functional and embracing uh, something that is more close to art, in a way, which is actually the place of craft, <laughs> if, you, if you want. As I walked into the Minecraft exhibition this year, it was a moment of repose from the rest of the madness of Milan, Salone, Zona Tortona. It, uh, it, it represents, and, and has represented for some time, a, a clarity of, of vision that, for me as an individual, is a very, is a very attractive one. I find um, this kind of work, this kind of, um, stylistically speaking, and with regards to the materials, a very interesting way of working. Danish design and Danish craft is really amongst the highest quality design and craft being made today and I can say that from the entire 20th century and now the 21st century. Having such a great history of the blending of design and uh, craftsmanship that could be reinterpreted to the world we live in today and uh, for that reason uh, I, I, I think it's two disciplines with, which are overlapping and the area where they are overlapping is a very interesting one and could be chosen as a, as a key field to start from. It's actually very original what is happening in, uh, in the niche craft. Um, it, it's very much a step, a step away from, um, from, from the past but also learning from the past. So it's not a complete you know, break away. Um, there is a continuity but it has to be read through layers. So you need to spend time to, to actually enjoy more. I think Danish craft and design is, is known for originality, individuality, and definitely humor. It's, it's used a lot in, in Danish craft. I think it's a very refreshing exhibition for the eyes and for the spirit too, like from presentation and the objects, everything is very fresh and new. I think it's very uh, uh, interesting, yeah, and uh, the thoughts behind the, the, the products, yeah, and funky, I think, funny and funky.